There are about two million people affected with chronic inflammatory disease, better known in this country as lupus. It's an autoimmune disease that attacks various parts of the body and can be a painful disease to live with. Here to share their story about living with lupus is Mercedes Yvette. She's a former contestant on the hit TV show, America's Next Top Model, and now a national spokesperson for the Lupus Foundation of America. Welcome, Mercedes. Thank you. Welcome. Well, first of all, when did you get diagnosed with this uh, terrible disease? I was diagnosed uh, five years ago prior to being on Top Model, and um, it's been crazy ever since, <laughs> after I living with lupus and being on Top Model. Right, and, and lupus is, just for the viewers, it, I'll simplify it, is, is, is a disease that can uh, basically attack one's own body. How has lupus affected you? Well, lupus has affected me in many ways. Um, I get joint pain and f heavy fatigue. Um, sometimes it's hard to get out of bed. Also, the medicine for most people, for most lupus sufferers, um, I have water retention from the steroids that I take, which makes it difficult uh, to work sometimes as a model. Right. How, how was it being on the show? Did you, did you tell your, your other contestants that you had this? Because you're exactly right. Uh, the medicine really can give you almost a moon face where you're swollen. And I, that takes great courage to be on that show and have to take that medicine and compete with people that aren't, aren't on it. What was, what was their view on this? Well, on the show, I was kind of hiding it until I had to come out with it. And then finally, when I did, it was such a relief because um, it was easy to basically tell people, hey, this is why I'm taking medication. This is what it is. I'm newly diagnosed. It happened out of nowhere. And um, I'm going through a flare right now. Bear with me. Right. And it, it also takes guts to become the national spokesperson because, again, you're young, you're a model. Uh, sometimes people don't, don't want to hire people with diseases. And uh, how did you become a spokesperson for the disease? Well, they contacted me after the show, and I personally wanted to do something and let people know, since there's such a health disparity between African Americans, Latinos, um, Native Americans, and Asians. So uh, joining the LFA, I knew that they were gauging towards awareness, aware, um, making the public aware, and I know so much about how they want to always gain uh, funds for research. So I was like, oh, this is the organization I have to be with because I know that they'll find a future for a cure. Great. Well, my daughter, I must admit, is a great fan of the show. I think she's seen every season, <laughs> that, which means I have to sit and watch it with her, which I enjoy. But she, when oh, I you told have her, to. You have to. <laughs> when I told her I was going to interview you, she didn't quite understand, as an 11-year-old, how someone so beautiful and so young could get a disease like that. What do you tell young people out there? Well, um, I tell them that it's a misnomer. People say that, oh, you look healthy, you must not be sick. But yeah, I, we all suffer from heavy fatigue where it makes it difficult to work. Um, the joint pain is sometimes unbearable where I can't even wash my hair because I can't lift up my arms. I mean, a lot of lupus patients say that they, they, they are in great pain, but you would never know. And it's, that's why it's so important to get this, the word out that we need awareness because because this is a deadly disease. It kills thousands of people each year. Every 30 minutes, someone is diagnosed with lupus. Right. And, and, and talking about awareness, give our viewers some tips of, because I'm a physician, it's very hard to diagnose lupus, and I'm sure I've missed some cases. Give the viewers out there some tips of when they should go see their doctors instead of just blowing it off and saying, God, my joint hurts, I'm sure it'll go away. Let's go, give them some advice on what to do. Sure. Well, for me, I the first thing that most lupus sufferers um, suffer from is from heavy fatigue. My mom thought I had mono in high school. Um, so pay attention to signs like fatigue and joint pain and um, also go to the doctor, get your blood test. They have ANA tests where they test your blood. I'm sure the doctor will um, tell us about that. But yeah, just see, pay attention to your symptoms and go immediately to a rheumatologist when you have a chance.